Right, so some Battlefield 1, Saritzin. This is Supply Drop, and I haven't played this mode, well, since it came out, which is, well, it must have been 2017, three years ago. I didn't hear a whole lot about it, to be honest, when it released, but it does look like something that could be fairly fun for some close quarters. Let's get rid of him for some close quarters infantry stuff. I'm using the auto-loading 8.25. I really like this weapon. It seems like we're going to be seeing quite a few players like that on the enemy team as well. I haven't played this game in so long though, I just feel so rusty. Whenever you go back to a game, with even when it's a Battlefield game, and I play a lot of Battlefield, you just kind of get that feeling where you have to get used to the game again. There's a guy around here, I hear him, but that sun is very difficult. He's in here, let's see if we can... Should have kept that nade really for that. So what you're going to see in today's video basically is a couple of rounds of Battlefield 1 as I go back and try out some modes I haven't played in ages. And I'm going to kind of cut up the video so you don't just have to watch the whole thing. Oh. One shot left. Oh, he hits me in the head. I thought he was going to be just behind that bit of cover there. But yeah, in this video I'm basically just going to cut up different bits of gameplay in Battlefield 1 to give you that feeling and just look in there look at that sol my soldier on the floor he actually looks like a World War 1 soldier I mean that is something that we have not experienced in Battlefield 5 much at all which is a real shame BF5 was it's one of those games that oh it could have been like Battlefield 1 but in World War 2 you know that really gritty atmospheric sort of game and unfortunately we just didn't get that got this blinding sun on sir it's in I never remember it being this bad but I don't see a thing oh we don't want to deal with that sweet spot thank you very much Go back inside. There we go. There's a guy up here. I'm so rusty at this game. For me as well, I find it really weird because I used to absolutely love battlefield modes that were all-out war sort of modes. So, you know, just everything. Planes, boats, tanks, infantry, just the whole lot. But now, I think... I, I do still enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but I think that the infantry modes are really where Battlefield could be focusing in the future. Obviously, Call of Duty is massively popular. People love that experience, even with all the problems it has, and does it have, you know, tons of vehicles? It's got a bit here and there, but, you know, it's not a vehicle game. Luckily, though, we have Voiced Cavera on our team. Luckily, I mean, without this guy, we'd be nowhere. Out of all the Battlefield games, I think BF1 is the the game where I excelled the most as an infantry player, and I think that was probably down to the fact it had less of a skill ceiling when it came to movement, and it more relies on just pure mechanical aiming, and that for me is better. You know, I certainly wasn't great at the game, but it's better because I could concentrate on one thing. I was okay at BF5 as well. Definitely wasn't very good at Battlefield 4 infantry. One of these days I will actually hit a shot with a gun. <laughs> I think that guy had an automatic though. 
And he didn't make it work. I mean, that automatico. Does anyone remember when this game first came out and you jump in the class, you're like, what class am I going to play? You don't really know what you, you know, what you want to really focus on. So you pick a class. And anyone who picked the assault class, which is a lot of people, they just get the automatico. Hip fire blasting everybody. I've actually pushed these enemies back quite a lot here. There's a guy up there still. I feel like this is kind of dead zone area. I don't actually know what's going on in this game mode. I think we're doing alright because we keep on capping these supply drops. But they often just seem uncontested. This is not what the 8.25 was built for, honestly. It's not a, a longer range weapon. But it seems to be doing the job. I don't want to get sweet spotted that. Let's go back to this one. Get a bit of ammo while we can. And it's over. Victory. Win one game of supply drop. Well, there you go. That proves that. What is my soldier doing there? Well, that proves that I've never played it. Well, I've never won playing it. But I'll take that. It's a good first game. So we're dropping into another in the name of the Tsar map. This one, Brusilov Keep. I'm not too sure what to make of this map. I don't think it's great, but also it does have its moments. Sometimes you'll be in one of the little buildings and looking down towards the bridge and you just have this really good moment of people running at you and holding them back. That being said, it does miss a couple of key aspects, in my opinion. Let's get out of it before that goes bad. I will get him if he doesn't skip. Nope. We're gonna... No, he's behind us. Okay. So I joined this server because it said no mortar trucks allowed or no artillery trucks allowed. I mean... That is not gameplay. I'm sorry. They made the mistake in BF1 and the same mistake in BF5. They think that camping tanks are cool. These dice devs just don't understand. Let's try and get inside this building. There are players up here, or at least one. Oh. There were two. One got blasted. Well, they might be coming in, actually. Or they might be in the one next to us. Gonna have a little look. Yatagan sword. Slapped him. Oh, well, there goes half the building. Are they coming in, or is that just a random long range mortar truck? I spotted somebody. No, no. We got away with it. I saw him across the river. I really spam this weapon when I shouldn't. You have to kind of just control a little bit there. I think there might be a guy down here. Yeah. Okay, he gets away with it. Okay, we got lucky there. Very lucky that that guy didn't shoot us. Let's push up here. There's more in the buildings. You can hear the the gun sound when someone's in a building. Slightly different. You can also hear the horse. <laughs> Dude flying out of a window.
just get a quick reload. Oh, they could be up on the roof. I forgot there was a roof section. Oh my word. People are going to be watching this video thinking, what has he been doing? How can you be a Battlefield YouTuber and have aim like this? But the truth is, I don't play FPS games anymore. I really don't. I play the odd bit of Battlefield, but that's it. I mean, I just... There's people coming in. I honestly don't play FPS games, and it's not... It's... Oh, it'd be nice. And it's not because I dislike them. It's just I got bored with them. Kind of the back end of 2018, Battlefield 5 came out, and I just... I grew really tired of FPS games. I started playing different stuff. Racing Sims is what I'm into. I play, you know, a bit of uh, Bannerlord, a bit of Seven Days to Die, a bit of these, you know, kind of relaxing games, if you like. Just getting back to why I got into gaming in the first place, just fun. But Battlefield still definitely has its place. And the minute a, a good Battlefield game comes out, I'm going to be back on it playing it for sure. This could get messy here. Lots of players around us. You can see by the minimap. Just have to kind of slowly work through them. Oops. Hope that you get a bit of luck. I want to go over to that building, really. Oh, he just got blasted. Lol. I think there's a guy upstairs in this one. Might be another. No! I missed my first shot. If I'd hit him in the head, I then could have killed the guy on the right. There's a grenade on me. So it's a smoke. Maybe this pool GM23 comes in. That was a nice run, though. We got a lot of kills there. I believe it was that building. Now watch me die again immediately. That's my nade. I think that was the guy, Uza. But there were two up there. Oh, we got him, though. I figured he would move and hold the stairs. It's quite common for people to do that when they kill you. Say they kill you on one side of the staircase. Oh, my word. <laughs> They'll move to the other side. Come on, let me vault. Come on, game. Vaulting is not one of the strong suits in this game, that's for sure. Maybe we can nip around the side here. I really wanted to revive that guy, but I couldn't get it to, to work, to connect. This gun is good, though. It's really good. I seem to be shooting an extra shot as well, just to make sure people are dead. That's not good. No. I tried to jump and slide, but I got stuck on that branch. No. No. Okay, just about got away with it. But don't skip. You don't skip. Maybe I can save you. This branch is really annoying. A tree trunk. Oh my word. <laughs> Did he shoot? I think he shot the... AP mine to get rid of it. 
it set off all of them and I got blasted. And there's a gas one there as well. I did not expect that. Oh, kill. Finally. Been a while. I don't know why my guy did a jump then. What are they doing? Not a whole lot of ammunition left. Oh, watch out. Someone's getting spiked. Oh, <laughs> it's him. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> this isn't good. I don't have the ammo for this and they're pushing us. Well, I'm going to have to retreat here. I'm going to leave my teammates to die. There's nothing I can do with two magazines. I'm dead anyway. Seems to want to get in that doorway, so we'll throw a explosive there. An incendiary. I heard him run past screaming. Then. Oh, that was good from him. He peaked pre-fired and just hit me straight away. I should get revived. Look at this. Three, four medics. It's socials coming in. He's dead. Maybe. It's four medics here. Five medics. Yes, that's what I like to see. Oh, I just died straight away. Got your brother. Oh! Debris. I got killed by the debris train. Just so everyone's clear, I think that is a terrible game mechanic. I like the idea of Behemoth turning the tide of the battle on imbalanced servers, but no, that's not how you do it. You cap flags, you don't just frustrate the enemy with debris kills. That's why they never really turned the tide of battles. Sometimes they did, but most of the time they didn't. All they did was annoy the enemy team. What you want is, say you're losing, you essentially want to stop losing, which means you need to cap flags. That's the only way. And in order for that to happen, you need to get more of the friendlies onto the flags and limit the spawns of the team that's winning so you're not reducing their fun you're just making life slightly more difficult for them so maybe you could have something like ticket difference too much giving the uh the, the losing team an airdrop over the battlefield or giving the losing team alpha flag you know so they take your gimme flag just something to kind of spice up the the battle as opposed to saying your team's losing Here's a massive truck or a tank, which is cool. I do like the big, is it the Shah 2C? I forget. It's it's okay and it's fun, but it really doesn't solve the issue <laughs> of a badly balanced map. So now the train is dead. You see, there, there wasn't much footage between the train spawning and this clip. We can get on with things. It didn't change anything. They kind of got Charlie back because everyone was concentrating on the train, but... That was it. Try a long range nade. This isn't good. This is not good. I think there's a guy around here. Please die. Oh my word. The thing disappeared, my cover. Oh no, even worse position. Really struggling for some sort of cover here. I'll drop back to these buildings. I kind of want to get down there though. Couldn't hit him. I just get killed. Did I not hit him once? Come on. 
Straßen feindlicher Sperr gesichtet. It's over. Victory. One thing you will see, though, at the end of this match, here we go, the end screen. Look at that. On the map that you're playing, you get to see the characters. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. We've taken a look at two maps, both from the Russian DLC, way back in BF1, giving you a bit of nostalgia, but also kind of pointing you in the right direction to go and play a bit of Battlefield 1 at the minute. It's in an okay place. It's a fun game. Many people really didn't stop playing it after BF5 came out, they just stuck with BF1. So there are servers, it's definitely worth checking out. If you did enjoy this, feel free to leave a like. If not, you can leave a dislike and I'll catch you in the next video.